Hello, Matt from Tamara Music. Today we're looking at the Oberheim OBX8. This is the rebirth of the brand Oberheim. Uh, this is now like the second synth in Oberheim's lineup uh, of synthesizers, uh, as the OB6 is now really part of that Oberheim modern lineage. Uh, this is now the Oberheim being brought back to life and uh, we actually have something uh, that sounds as good as I've ever I've heard a synth sound. <laughs> So uh, now we're looking at the OBX8 going into the uh, new Echofix uh, EFX3R. So yeah, there's a whole bunch of presets for you. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is uh, do a few things like filter sweep uh, and have a listen to a few of the different sounds which um, are possible. Uh, yeah, the oscillators sound great. Um, it's very static, uh, but also it's got a natural kind of movement. So here we go. So here we go for a filter sweep with that sort of uh, tone you're listening to there. Uh, first with no resonance. And uh, let's just do like kind of 25%. And uh, we'll jump straight up to 50% here. And uh, let's go 75%. And uh, we'll go 100% and I don't have to say protect your ears because this uh, filter doesn't fully self oscillate. Yeah, something really unique about the Oberheim filter. Um, it does this thing where you sort of hear steps in the harmonic series. In terms of the filter actually, there's like multiple types in here. So if I go into this page two setting and I hit uh, this type button, it sort of starts switching between some of the initial different types, uh, which the first thing we're on there was this OBX um, SEM two pole low pass. If I turn this value knob, so SEM high pass, SEM, two pole band pass, two pole notch, uh, and then it keeps scrolling. So I think I'm gonna to have to do a, a filter sweep on all these. 
The high pass filter. Yeah, uh, band pass. Uh, we got this notch filter as well. Different type of low pass. Uh, so that's that's all the filters. There's a lot of them. So let's get back to another basic patch here. So yeah, we've got our sawtooth wave. Uh, we've got this pulse width wave, which we've got pulse width over that. Then we have a triangle wave. So it's got this really sort of that with a bit of uh, release. You're kind of already in a really interesting and lovely ballpark. got this cross mode ability here. Yeah, going back to this sort of page two situation here as well, um, we'll just make a little basic patch here, which will take some filter. And you go, hey, I'd love to have some noise in that. And you go, hey, too much noise, page two. And you can literally go and say noise level and just bring that down to a level which you Then we've got things down here, uh, which I'll just kind of go over quickly, which we've got this mod section, which is basically a secondary LFO, um, which I think is just like a, it sounds like a triangle or a sine wave, whichever sine to oscillator one. Which I think sounds awesome. Um, you can then go and assign uh, another section of modulation here uh, sample and hold, can go to the filter. OBX8 uh, is a real thing, it sounds awesome. I would uh, strongly recommend playing one. Um, the $8,000 price tag uh, is certainly scary, but I think I might have $8,000 worth of other synths. I could literally just get rid of everything else and just do this. Hopefully you guys enjoyed what you saw here today. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and there'll be more stuff coming from us on synthesizers and other things in the future. So yeah, thanks very much.